Tip of the Tarot 888. This message is for Sagittarius. Now you can have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Sagittarius, this message might resonate with you. Or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Look at you. Look at you. Entering Virgo season. Look at, look at you. The ace of swords, baby. It's like you're on a mission. Sagittarius, look at you communicating with the universe. Look at all this protection you have. For a lot of you guys, it's almost like you can feel this victory, baby. And it's like, <laughs> and I just keep hearing victory is yours, baby. Put it in the comments. Look at this. For a lot of you guys, you have been moving in silence. And the universe wants you to continue to move in this way. But I just heard from a lot, from someone's ancestors, you're breaking soul ties, baby. I'm talking some difficult soul ties. And look, you've been, <laughs> you've been steady, just focus on God, the universe to help you. And you're finally breaking them. And some of you guys are required or the universe is saying, break them in silence. Don't let anybody know what you're doing. See, you have been working hard. The seven of pentacles, look, you've been so focused that people are wondering where the fuck is Sagittarius? But Sagittarius, keep on moving in silence and keep breaking these generational curses, these soul ties. Look at this. And this is you in silence. As people are out here, you know, you have the eight of swords, you know, but you're actually covered. The eight of swords traditionally in the tarot deck, you know, somebody, oh, Mm -mm. You're, it's almost you have this cover. You're in your cave, almost like the hermit. And as people are trying to communicate, trying to get to you, ah, uh -uh. Sagittarius is nowhere to be found. You're moving in silence, Sagittarius. The two of cups. And some of you guys with love. I don't know, but I just keep hearing. Some of you guys, this, I just keep hearing this difficult path that you were placed upon. It's almost it put you on a path to meet somebody very special to you. You have the two of cups here, but if you can see how it's almost like for a lot of you guys, you were put on this path, these difficult times, these soul ties. Oh my God, this isolation that you might've spent, it brought you closer to God, the universe. And it's almost like now you, you, when you speak about God, the universe, even if you don't speak about it to people, you found this best friend, this love for the universe. Look at this heart. Oh, and it's like you reach into the sky. So some of you guys, you surrendered, you let go and you forgave is what I keep hearing. And as you did that, you started to love again. For a lot of you guys, y'all went through a hard soul, soul tie, um, breaking this soul tie. It was, it was something you had to let go, the eight of cups. And you had to see everything crumble. For a lot of you guys, it was almost the universe telling you trust in your divine purpose. And even though you had to cross this, this whole river of emotions, because for you, for a lot of you guys, the eight of cups, if you look at this cat, it's like, you want to focus on breaking the soul tie. You have everything you want right here, but you weren't happy. Put it in the comments if this is you, because I'm feeling for some of you guys, you're so happy that you broke this soul tie. You were even though you might've had everything, for a lot of you guys, you were in a marriage and a commitment that you could have had it all with this particular person. I'm talking riches and everything, but you weren't happy and you kept asking the universe for your freedom. For some of you guys, you were stuck with the narcissistic person that gave you everything, but where was the love? Where was the love? And when you took this leap of faith, because a lot of you guys broke the soul tie. Some of you guys are getting clarity right now. 
and you're going to begin to move in silence. That's why earlier it said move in silence. A lot of you guys are starting to get this clarity. You're starting to love and build this confidence within you and to trust the process. And you're about to take that leap of faith. And you know where this leap of faith is going to take you? To this empress, this energy of you taking your fucking power back. Yes, put it in the comments. I'm taking my mm, power back. And look, 111. So some of you guys are seeing that synchronicity and that 111 is almost like you taking that leap of faith to a new beginning. Whoo, Lord, have mercy. Look, on the other side of the, the other half of the deck, you have the, the Queen of Pentacles. As soon as you break this soul tie, as soon as you let go, you surrender, and you trust this process. Your excitement, I'm hearing your excitement, your energy. It's going to give you this sense of confidence to explore. As you can see right here, the Queen of Pentacles. Look, wanting to explore, wanting to reach for the blessings. It's almost like you're going to start to begin to explore the world. For a lot of you guys, are you ready to co-create with the universe? Put in the comments if you're ready. To create with the universe. You have a guardian angel. But you're attracting. Just look at everything you're attracting. The world is yours, baby. Put in the comments. The world is mine. Two of wands. It's you balancing the direction you want to go. And the universe is giving you hints. Because for a lot of you guys... When you move in silence, you're going to be placed in a position or in a place, a location that is going to bring you, bring this, this queen of pentacles energy out. I don't know if you're ready to co-create, but a lot of you guys are going to be ready to co-create with the universe. And your ex is about to see you win and prosper. The ace of wands. And this Ace of Wands, look at this. When you go to co-create with the universe, it's almost like you have this guide. And it's leading you the, to the tree of life. And look at all this protection you have. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button. Share, subscribe, baby. Comment if this is you. Your ex is going to be like this in the Nine of Wands. Like, holy shit. Look at the eyes. They're like, holy shit, Sagittarius got away. And here they are in the nine of wands trying to, they're over here trying to hold it down. This narcissistic energy, like they thought they had one up on you because you left a lot of shit. And they're like, well, I'm, I, I, it's almost like this energy of greed, but they're scared. They're like, holy shit, Sagittarius is getting away. Where the hell is Sagittarius going? 808 on the clock, baby. Check that angel number gonna have a message for you guys and i'm hearing james four there's a special message behind james four some of you guys may be born on the fourth or the ninth i'm hearing the second or the eighth <coughs> but the but the universe god wants you to use this affirmation there's something very important about these affirmations and i'm hearing i am love i am worthy of love and I am attracting a loving relationship because some of you guys got out of one that wasn't so loving and you've prayed to the universe for a loving connection and you prayed and you prayed hard and the universe brought this wrecking ball this tower to set you free whether you were on top of this wrecking ball, you were going to come out this. Some of you guys, whew, it could have been even your kids. You and your kids got out. One, two, three, four. For a lot of you guys, this, this is karma to the past. It's almost the universe. As soon as you move forward, because here's the queen of wands coming out again. The universe brought in this tower. Look at this. And they're scared shitless. What the hell happened? They're like, how is it that Sagittarius is so protected? Look at them looking. You bring in 
light to the dark. It's like, look at this star. You may be dealing with Aquarius or somebody with Aquarius in, in your chart, but look how confident you feel in the arms of the universe. Even your eyes are closed. For some of you guys, I'm hearing some of you guys have a cat like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're, I'm hearing let, uh, first or last initials, L, T, C, J, R, D, D, I don't know who said D, D, but look at this. They're looking at you. How is it possible? And here you are co-creating with the universe. I said that earlier. Holy shit, you're co-creating with the universe. Damn. And you know this, baby. Put it in the comments. Look, your third eye open. And you start to see it. That's why your affirmations, I'm hearing your affirmations are, are going to be very important this month in Virgo season. And I'm hearing for y'all to say these affirmations. It is important for you guys to use emotions. And I'm hearing excitement behind these affirmations. I am blessed always. I am strong. I am whole and happy. I am freaking amazing. I am love. Look at this. The Ten of Swords. I have two stories that are coming through right here. Your ancestors are, are saying for a lot of you guys that are walking on this path, you're about to run into a Ten of Swords. But they want you to embrace this Ten of Swords in a different, in, in a different uh, energy. Instead of it letting it bring you to a lower energy, see, because there's a full moon right here. You may be dealing with the Cancer, but they want you to embrace this Ten of Swords as the last time you're going to get fucked over. Look, you have three angels right there overlooking at you. When this betrayal comes in, they want you to look at it from a higher perspective. They want you to look at it as an ending and get ready for a new beginning. It's almost like they want you to shake these swords off and look, the high priestess came in again. Look at things from a higher perspective, a loving perspective. Look at this, the five of swords. Everything, somebody, these daggers, this back, black magic energy, whatever you want to call it, the shit talking is going to come back to the person. It's almost like a return to sender. And it's not you even doing it. It's God. Mm -hmm. And this sword, look, is behind your back. It's not even touching you. So they see this, this as a ten of swords, as you looking at it from a higher perspective and seeing it that you're about to come out of this storm. And for a lot of you guys, the other note I'm getting is your enemies, the people that betrayed you. If this was a narcissistic ex, for some of you guys, this was even your freaking neighbor. Maybe as a childhood neighbor. They're about to get this Ten of Swords. And for this particular person, your angels are making sure this person don't get up. They're going to make sure this person gets their karma. Yeah, you can see them right there. They're like, mm -mm. some of you guys, your ancestors are on that ass. And look, they're going to make sure they remember everything they did to you. That's how powerful you are. And it's not out of spite. It's almost this karma that they adapted or they acquired. And look, you can see the burning flames right here. It just caught my attention. Look. It was a wolf, what do they call it? A wolf in sheep's clothing. They're being exposed. All that shit. All right, let's get into a, let's get a different deck. Look. I'm, I'm here, no regrets. They don't want you to regret anything in the past that you've been through. All right, let's see what we have in all right, all of these came out. It says, all right, animal lovers. Some of you guys are animal lovers. Put in the comments, Sagittarius. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Comment if this is you. It says, woo, you are full of passion. And for a lot of you guys, your past, you lost total respect for this particular person in your past. 
you lost respect for them, put it in the comments. And if you trust the process, baby, the universe and your, your ancestors are saying to hold on, to continue to break this soul tie. Some of you guys, it's a nasty ass soul tie. And look, just trust the journey. Trust the process and trust the journey. It says right here, they underestimated your ability to heal. Holy shit. This narcissistic person did, did a number on you. It says, you reap what you sow. So smile, send love, forgive, let go, and keep moving forward. They want me to explain this. See, Sagittarius, there's, you reap what you sow, and you're getting into the phase where you're going to start to learn universal law. You reap what you sow. So what does that mean? That means, where is it? Where did I put it? It means that whatever anybody does to you, the universe wants you to know or to handle the situation and to look at things from a higher perspective, to handle it with love. In other words, don't retaliate. Don't do it tick for tat. If somebody hurts you, deceives you, steals from you, cheats from you. Give it to God and keep moving forward. Why is that important? Because what you put out, even though they hurt you, will return to you tenfold. So if you give out love, forgiving, letting go, forgiveness, especially forgiveness. And for a lot of you guys are gonna be like, look, infinite, how the fuck do I forgive this person? They did me like this. They did me like that. You have to trust the process. Your ancestors are saying you're breaking a soul tie. Trust the journey. And trust me, you're going to heal. The enemy wants you to be stuck. So this is what they want you to focus on. And it says right here, you're about to bounce back more powerful than ever. These two go together, Sagittarius. So what does that mean is you reap what you sow. So when you don't, you don't play that tick for tack, look at this. You're about to bounce back and I keep hearing you're about to co-create with the universe. So what you have within and the world doesn't change is you change within yourself. And when you change within yourself, look, this sexiness, the aura that you start to push out, your whole transformation because the beauty comes within and for a lot of you guys, look at this. This sexiness comes out. And the universe, God, wants you to put this in the comments. You're sexy and you know it. Put it, I am sexy and I know it. I am freaking sexy and I know it. Put some fire behind it. Put some hearts. It says, your own family didn't appreciate you because you are the chosen one. And this was trauma they wanted you to be stuck in this trauma but you overcame it they underestimated you the ability for you to heal this trauma these cards don't lie Sagittarius I don't know who needs to hear this but somebody out there this is going to be healing your heart for a lot of you guys this is confirmation that you are gonna bounce back and you are a chosen one put it in the comments i am a freaking chosen one i am blessed all right let's see what does the universe have for you the un the universe doesn't want you to focus on love you're gonna attract the curve they don't want me to talk about love in other words because you are attracting love a partnership a divine partnership i don't know spirit has a surprise for you they just want you to remember victory is yours. And they want you to express that. Put it in comments. Victory is mine. Put that. It says, right, you will be surprised. And I said that earlier. It says, ask with love and their answer may surprise you. Yet whatever their answer, be happy. And this may surprise them. Hi, it's love and I the universe so you're gonna have somebody 
that is going to be, that the universe is going to throw in your path. And for a lot of you guys that have been hurt in love, you will be surprised. Ask. It says right here, ask. And their answer may surprise you. And some of you guys are like, well, man, maybe this particular person's out of my league. You won't know until you ask. Speak up. Smile. Weak. And look, it said, this one fell out too, and they want me to show you this. It says right here, most people are just trying to survive. But there's a particular thing about this card right here about survival. For a lot of you guys, your testimony is very important on how you overcame these soul ties. You will be teaching many, and you might hear this repeatedly, either on this channel or another channel, and it's gonna bring you clarity. And you're gonna see your blessings to begin to unfold when you start to speak what you overcame. Because a lot of you guys don't look, look like how you overcame these things. People wouldn't believe that you overcame these things. For some of you guys, you're on stage where you can, people could tell, but trust me, trust the process I keep hearing. Don't trust me, trust the processes. You're going to be healed. It says, just remember, most people are so, uh, it says, beguiled by your charm. Owled by your confidence and inspired by your choices. They simply forget to say thank you, please, and I love you like crazy. As often as they feel the urge let's not be one of those people thank you please i love you the like crazy and this shit caught me off guard because i was just speaking about that and when i started to read it i'm telling you these cards don't lie and this is you at one point they see you with this confidence and they don't realize you also went through it so you're you're going to be inspiring motivating and uplifting humanity Yes, indeed. And let's get a couple of these cards. Sagittarius, hit the like button, share, subscribe. And if this is you and you happy that you're breaking these soul ties, put it in the comments. I'm breaking these motherfucking soul ties. Yes. You know, and a lot of people are like, why do you say fucking this? The universe wants you to have that passion behind it. Yes, it's a curse word, but the universe sees it like, okay. You're doing it with passion to help humanity. And it's with love. You're not hurting. You're saying, I'm fucking breaking these soul tries. And you're on team God, team Jesus, whatever. However it may resonate with you. Put it in the comments. I am still winning. For a lot of you guys, victory is yours, baby. Period. Is what I keep hearing. Your ancestors are happy. Let me just get one. All right, here we go. And it says right here. I trust the guidance of the universe. It was all over the cards. Yes, your ex is tripping out. How you keep moving up, how you keep bouncing back. And it says, trust that everything you need to know is being revealed to you in the perfect space, time and sequence. And man, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes I freak out when these cards come out. We were just saying that. You believe that man the cards ain't lying everything's getting revealed keep moving forward that's what i hear put in the comments and let's get your spiritual as fuck message this could be for you or the cross watcher but let's check it out if you haven't hit the button hit the button like share subscribe help my channel grow and comment if this is you claim this energy one just one this one wants to come out now nah, listen the universe said keep shuffling one's gonna come out if not, we're going to pull one out. And here we go. Right here, it says right here, stop saying yes to shit you hate. So some of you guys are going to stop people pleasing, baby. And you're going to, ooh, you're going to take your power back. It says, it says, we say yes to dumb ass shit because we want to be cool. To caretake others. And because... 
we think we need a reason to say no. The people we say no to may never understand why we needed to say no in order to be true to ourselves. You don't even have to know why you said yes in the past. Don't get stuck in a process spiral. It says, hold on, let me rewind. Don't get stuck in a process spiral about it. If you're not into it, just stop saying yes and move the fuck on. That's what the card says. So that's what I got for you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North, Jupiter, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is you or your energy. Infinite Tarot 888.